Our politicians took away from the people their means of making a living and supporting their families. Skilled craftsmen and tradespeople and factory workers have seen the jobs they loved shipped thousands and thousands of miles away. This wave of globalization has wiped out totally, totally our middle class. It doesn't have to be this way. We can turn it around, and we can turn it around fast. But if we're going to deliver real change, we're going to have to reject the campaign of fear and intimidation being pursued by powerful corporations, media elites, and political dynasties. The people who rigged the system for their benefit will do anything and say anything to keep things exactly the way they are. The people who rigged the system are supporting Hillary Clinton because they know as long as she is in charge, nothing's going to change. The inner cities will remain poor. The factories will remain closed. The borders will remain open. The special interests will remain firmly in control Hillary Clinton and her friends in global finance want to scare America into thinking small. And they want to scare American people out of voting for the better future. And you have a great future, folks. You have a great future. These people have given her tens of millions of dollars. My campaign has the absolute opposite message. I want you to imagine a much better life, and a life where you can believe in the American dream again. I want you to imagine how much better our future can be if we declare independence from the elites who led us from one financial and foreign policy disaster to another. Our friends in Britain recently voted to take back control of their economy, politics, and borders. I was on the right side of that issue, as you know, with the people. I was there. I said it was going to happen. I felt it. While Hillary, as always, stood with the elites, and both she and President Obama predicted that one, and many others, totally wrong. Now it's time for the American people to take back their future. That's the choice we face. We can either give in to Hillary Clinton's campaign of fear, or we can choose to believe again in America. We tax and regulate and restrict our companies to death, and then we allow foreign countries that cheat to export their goods to us tax-free. How stupid is this? How could it happen? How stupid is this? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to declare our economic independence once again.